Welcome friends, uh, today in the first anniversary of our alumni network remembers, uh, we are really happy to present Mr. Keshup Mahindra, Chairman Emeritus of Mahindra and Mahindra Limited and one of the oldest alumni. Uh, he is going to share with us how he built this brand, what are the moments of joy that he fondly remembers and also what is the message that he has for us and the youth at large. Thank you very much sir for accepting our invitation. You have built this great brand and uh, today we are not only known within India as one of the top companies, but globally we are also an admired brand. So, if you could share us how you built this brand and some of the moments of joy for this brand that you have created. Good, thank you. May I begin by perhaps correcting you. I did not build the brand. The brand was built or is being built by the people in the company. So in line with our people centricity approach to the manner in which we conduct our business, I think that it is the employees of the company who in fact through their practices of conducting business in an environment of what I call ethical governance are the ones who are the brand builders. It is not the effort of one man, it is the effort of all who work in the company. Secondly, I must begin by apologizing that I am unable to join you at the function. As I asked you earlier, I think it is a great innovation. I, as I said, through my own memory, having served on the boards of so many companies, I have not been party to any company which has this approach towards the ex-employees. Every company should have what I call people centricity. Okay. Which is that joyous moment that you have in this group, you have had in this group? I get a great joy in creation, oh. creating products, yeah. creating jobs. That gives me the most satisfaction when I know that in today's world, we may be a small company compared to universal standards. But we do employ 190,000 people all over the world, which is a huge amount of people. And people like you help us take care of them. Oh, thank you very much. So if you were to name uh, a, a few leaders uh, who you feel as to how is it that they have lived the values of uh, this group? Well, there are lots, lots of people. I mean, there are people like Sule, Pitamba, and many others, Parit, many others who worked in our group. Okay. In your own manner, they can contribute. So, when you heard about Remembers, what was the first reaction that came to you? Well, the first reaction was, like most circulars, what is this about? Remembering what? And then as I read through it, and I said to myself, what a wonderful innovation. And that is what I have started with you, because I think it is a very nice thing to do. And particularly for very old employees who remember, a much more difficult world. Yes. The company was very small. It, it grew up by itself. And they were a part of a huge, wonderful journey. And as you know, our relationship with our people is very close. So it's, it's a wonderful thing to remember and nurture it. I still remember uh, the first blue chip that I attended. Uh, he had said that you should not do anything which you cannot stand in a public stage and speak. Is there any other message that you have got for the youth today? Because the youth are the well, ones Well, I, I always tell the youth, please dream. Because even impossible dreams become possible. Yes. If you have that trust and confidence, you can't accept well. One thought that comes to my mind is that we have a planning for retirement workshop. But I find that it is more towards planning your investment, right? So what is your thought of uh, planning for retirement, picking up hobbies, doing things that you otherwise could not do? No, I think what you, one of the problems is people fail. I think is that when they, when they get near retirement, okay, forget money part is one of it, is 
they haven't thought it out. People in very senior positions in the company, and I won't take any names, find it difficult to give up what they are used to doing. That sense of empowerment, that sense, which in one sense works beautifully. Yes. But after you retire, give up that. A lot of people find that very difficult. Okay. So you have to have some outside interests apart from your businesses. Okay. Now, what, do I, what is my outside interest? The first is photography. I was going to ask you what model that is. Okay. And um, then I'm very fond of reading. I write sometimes. I, I love gardening. And the last one which I'm going to tell you is I love cooking. Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> so you keep yourself involved. So with this message, uh, I would like to thank uh, Keshav uh, for really sparing this time uh, to interact with us and giving us these valuable advice. These are some of the secrets of his success and sir, we will truly value uh, the tips that you have given us and I am sure it will stand all of us in good stead. On behalf of Remembers, I would like to thank you once again and it was a privilege listening to you. Well, thank you for coming. Please convey to those who attend the meeting my apologies for my absence and wish them luck. Thank you, sir. Thank you.